Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Uh, they're probably saying, wait a minute. They already talked about this movie. I know about this movie. Yes, but we uh, just want to kind of refresh your memory. And first, again, as always, we'll invite you to come and join us over on Patreon. Uh, where there's exclusive videos going up on a regular basis and it does support the channel so much going on you remember this movie leave the world behind uh again given to us via the obamas <laughs> it started with this ship the white lion interesting enough and we talked all about the symbolism we did make a video on this and we mentioned in several other videos how you know this is again a foretelling of what's to come and so all the chaos really starts with a huge cargo ship that just runs up on the beach i mean it, it just does something that doesn't make any sense and it gets you wondering what the heck is going on as you know it, it was just um it, the way that it, it was with the family there's just the little one the little girl is the one that's pointing the ship out everybody else is like uh, no, don't worry. He, he he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. And, and the little girl's like, nope, something's wrong. And yeah, something was wrong. And, you know, you, you can't make this up. Everything is out there for us. It's all out there for us. Something is happening. And we shouldn't trust the controllers. When we saw all these Teslas that drove themselves to a bridge. Wait a minute. Where did they drive themselves to? A bridge. And, and what came up on the sand uh well it was a big cargo ship it was called the white lion <clears throat> and then we have the teslas blocking a bridge okay so <clears throat> here we go morning daylight ha <laughs> ha great great um great reveal right there uh <laughs> reveals the aftermath of a mass casualty event on um, the scott key bridge collapse why did this bridge collapse because a cargo ship rammed straight into it. This is in Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, Maryland. Two people rescued. Seven people are missing. The water is 48 degrees. Please put out your prayers again. And positive intentions for all in involved. And, you know, this is so significant. <clears throat> in my mind, the symbolism is just absolutely overwhelming. Uh, if you're looking for something that that might be given as as a, a go sign, a start sign, this could well be it too. Uh, this because I I have been feeling, and I've shared in videos as I like to mumble, and share with you what's coming through. That you know here I'm I've been so focused on the eclipse and thinking right after the eclipse. Uh, you know, could be chaos, and I, I think the chaos is going to be extreme about a month later. Um, but I've been getting the feeling that we might see a lot more things start to happen uh, at the last week of this month. And so, you know, again, be prepared because this is absolutely, um, in my mind, this is this is part of their plans. This is not. I do not view this as an accident. Sonar has detected multiple vehicles in the water. Search and rescue efforts expected to take hours, weeks, or days. I mean, it's just crazy. This bridge is part of 695. Here you go. You can see thick smoke. Uh, it loses power. Then there's thick smoke. It gets the power back. Power loss number two steers straight for one of the, one of the supports. And it's obvious they were, in my mind, hacked into. Hacked into, and I think power was taken. Uh, when I say power, uh, the ability to steer was taken from whoever was doing it. You know, these ships have autopilot, by the way. So, yeah, I think this is absolutely an act of, um, well, it, it, it's it's an attack on the U.S., it's attack on all of us. It's it's again. This is six ninety five. So you know when you put those sixes, ninety five is a north south highway, and and on the east coast, ninety five is the biggest. Um, six goes around certain areas. You know when you put those like two ninety five, six ninety five, four ninety five. So this is like an alternate route that's being taken out. And and where is this bridge? It's at the port. 
It, it's right here in Baltimore, Maryland. This is a major, major, busy, busy port. It's a significant port. This is Kate taking down exactly what we've been talking about for years. Key infrastructure. Key infrastructure. And then the shipping is not going to, the ships can't go out. This is, this is definitely part of uh, the bigger battle that is going to be unfolding. This is Jack uh, Posebic talking about this. Um, now, the ship's name is the Dolly. And interesting, you know, it's it, and the bridge. I mean, gosh, the bridge. The Francis Scott Key, you know, Francis Scott Key. You guys remember? The Star Spangled Banner, guys. Yes, that's the Star Spangled Banner writer. When was the Star Spangled Banner put together? It was the War of 1812. We're back to we're back to the War of 1812. The other symbolism that we were connecting before, and we were talking about the possibility that the White House will be in flames, uh, as it was in in 1812. Yeah, because this is this is showing. Yeah, the last time we were invaded was 1812, and and we are invaded right now. Uh, definitely a, a lot going on here, and the information I I was picking up is that yeah, this this was taken over. And curiously enough, you see the lights that are going out and coming back on, and going out and coming back on. For someone to hack in there, there needs to be a handover of power. So it looks like this happened and we're watching it happen where somebody literally is hacking into there, taking over the power and steering the ship. You know, I, I, I'm I not picking up that this came from inside the ship. I'm picking up this came definitely, you know, ec external uh, from one of our possible ri rivals. I, I got China. China is what's coming in first. Um, that there was this hacking. So, uh, you know, it's something that if it's that easy for them to take over and they're definitely sending a message saying, we control you, we have you. And uh, there's there's not a lot you can do about it. You know, you guys can go ahead and sit back and man your posts and we're going to hack in anyway. You know, one of the things when <laughs> when you are uh, hacking into someone's equipment is you, you do, there is just that split second where you kind of things go down and then the other person <coughs> takes over takes over that power. And that was, you know, before I did this, that was something that I kind of dabbled in a little bit. So when I saw that, it's like I knew I could see what they were doing and how easily and quickly it happened so we need to keep that in mind and not to mention i mean that the, the other cars the tesla cars and how they were reprogrammed and put in the exact place you know how many people have those cars that can be hacked into most vehicles these days can be taken over i we we can't forget that that needs to stay in the back of our mind yeah <clears throat> Boy, there is so much here. You know, we had shared with everybody back uh, around December of 2022 that the guides had said the invasion on the U.S. Um, they were giving us a signal that it was going to happen sometime uh, around 1.5 years after the vision. I'm trying to determine exactly the day of the vision right now. But basically, um, it feels that um, the troops could be on the ground it troops not 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 uh illegal so to speak but organized troops uh attacking on on u.s soil um by sometime maybe the first week of uh june um i do think that we're going to see the great quakes because i think they're going to be induced uh when you see fort mchenry here uh, this is significant. Again, this this is all your your history that we're taught as little kids, with the Star Spangled Banner and everything. I also noticed Ascension Hospital over here. Uh, Ascension. That's that's the key word here. This is Baltimore. So if you haven't been through here, uh, I've been here through here many many times, uh, countless times. Uh, and then you have DC is right here. You know, this is such a key, key area. And if you collapse it and nobody can get out of the port, then, yeah, you've effectively really, really 
um, stalled a lot of uh, cargo moving around. So the Star Spangled Banner is the national anthem of the U.S. The lyrics come from defense of Fort McHenry. This is where the bridge collapsed. A po- poem written on September 14th, 1814 by 35-year-old lawyer, amateur poet Francis Scott Key, after witnessing the uh, bombardment of Fort McHenry by British ships of the Royal Navy in the outer Baltimore Harbor that we're talking about during the Battle of Baltimore in the War of 1812. Yes, and so that picture right there on the top is, is, is again, uh, it, it's showing a very beaten and battered uh, White House that we, um, you know, it, you can't make this up. All I could just share with you guys is if you've been hesitating to prep, then, you know, get your butt in gear. Absolutely. And, you know, even us, I forgot something so important. And then the guides popped in my head to go and get more greenhouse plastic yesterday. And I mentioned it to Cindy. And yeah, you know, we're going to do a greenhouse. Sure, maybe multiple greenhouses. It's a good idea to have greenhouse plastic on hand. And then we were re- re-watching some videos we did uh, back in December of 2022. And there's another total reason for having greenhouse plastic on hand that we will cover in a moment. This is the type of thing where, yes, the human brain, when we're in here, we're very fallible. We can forget things of of very high importance, Uh, even the best of us. This is just so obvious. You know, the burning of Washington. Again, this is the last time the U.S. was was invaded with the War of 1812. Uh, You can't make this up. You really, really can't make this up. So when we look at this, this terminal... The Port of Baltimore generates nearly $3.3 billion in total personal income and support, over 15,330 direct jobs, 139,180 jobs are connected to working at the port, and it generates a ton of taxes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, a lot of what goes through here, as you'll see here, The port ranked first in the nation in handling automobiles, light trucks, farm and construction machinery, as well as sugar and gypsum. Second for exporting coal, and then sixth for importing coffee. But think about this, automobiles, light trucks, farm and construction machinery. Um, You know, one of the lessons that my mother, who was an avid historian, especially of, of military history, especially of World War II era, these things get turned over and instead of making automobiles like trucks farm and construction you're making weapons of war so this would absolutely um, be a, a prime target uh, to inhibit the u.s from being able to build things to defend itself again and then of course coal is energy so absolutely key 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 target and this is the ship that that rammed it this is empty of course uh, it was jam-packed with cargo when it did hit craziness guys but this is absolutely i don't there's no way in my mind this is an accident absolutely no way you see it course correct you see it goes straight in and boom so this was chartered by danish shipping company maersk which is one of the biggest uh, ones in the world so this ship uh, again was out of singapore and it, it just took it out perfectly. It aimed exactly where it had to aim. And, and it took out 695. So here you go. This, this is so significant. Again, Francis Scott Key. Oh, say, can you see? <laughs> you can't get any clearer than that. And again, we go back to what what did we start with? We start with a cargo ship running up on the beach. Well, this didn't run up on the beach, but this cargo ship didn't go where people expected, and it caused a stir. So did this one in real life. And again, the White Lion, the Tesla's blocking a bridge. Well, the cargo ship is blocking a bridge. These two videos um, we did in that time period, 
And what do we talk about? The planned destruction of the U.S. and the mass colonization to come. Well, isn't there a mass colonization underway? All those tens of millions of illegals that are in the country? Yeah, and they're paving the way and they're going to be activated. And this is what we were talking about. This Both of these are actually from uh, December of 2022, Three Days of do- Darkness, Russian Invasion of Europe, and the Chinese Dragon <laughs> invading North America, which is short, shortly to come. I think we will see that. And if, if the timelines hold, perhaps in less than three months' time, or a little bit over two months' time, let's hope that we can shift these timelines, because nothing is set in stone, and that's part of uh, the big, big picture. It's not the will of God. No, this is the will of beings far, far removed from the creator of this universe. But um, the reason, the three days of darkness, um, and I don't know why that wasn't crossing my mind as a potential um, for the near future, but yeah, it, it could be a potential for the near future. In fact, you know, could it have anything to do with the comet? Uh, I don't know. Um, I haven't gotten anything clearly on that, Cindy. I don't think you've ever gotten anything clearly on, on the comet being tied to three days of darkness. But then uh, we don't think the comet's a comet. We think the comet is a ship. Um, it's, again, coming from the constellation Draco, and it has a big purpose. We think the comet itself has technology on it. That can trigger mass events on the U.S., and I, I think we've shared that with you guys. Sometimes I wonder what we have shared and what we haven't shared because, you know, this is what we do pretty much 24-7, 365. You know, we even talking about stuff like this while we're putting plants in the ground. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're kind of going over this stuff, but to me this is very significant. You know, I mean, this is how... This is how the controllers speak to us, and if, if you're awake, and it's how they speak to each other. It's how they threaten each, each other. It's how they, they show one another their hand, their position, so that um, you know every controller knows where they stand. And this is really a big one. This is somebody just waving a big flag saying, see how much control I have over you? see what I can do and this is me barely even trying so I mean this was this message that went through very concerning because uh, this could happen all day every day for days and they're just gonna crumble and what I've seen with this country I've seen this crumbling happening and I'm hoping it's a it's a slow crumble that is my hope so that people can adjust as needed we all know that the change is coming it has to happen but how that happens um, that's in our minds our hearts it's our in our co-creating ability so we have power don't think that you're powerless no absolutely you know and for for me again uh my whole life i've seen this going back to being a a kid in high school and i still i could see it's just exactly history class and i'd already written i'd already read the book the entire history book like the first couple days because that's just the type of person i am so i'm just kind of in a trance and i'm seeing these visions of um you know, these times way back in high school and I, I think it was my senior year craziness. But I, I've always known these things were going to happen, but the timelines can change. I do believe timelines can change. I don't think that things are perfectly predestined. Again, when we look to uh, the Bhagavata Purana, it talks about time, travel and time dilation. And it also talks about um, this one being who is uh, Rishi. And Arishi is kind of like an ascended master, so to speak, that watch the events of the Mahabharata and the Ramayana play out multiple times. So almost like we're in a Groundhog Day, and maybe we are in a Groundhog Day. Maybe we're here right now trying to change what happened desperately (laughs) because we want there to be a a better outcome for, for the planet than what happened last time, so to speak. So here we are. We're back in the loop trying to steer it in a better direction the only way you could steer it in a better direction is by understanding what is planned and then awakening enough to shift it 
this is so key and this is why we started doing this uh started talking about these times specifically the invasion of the u.s on videos back in january of 2018 uh because again it won't be just the u.s it's going to be the, the nato countries too so um please do i'll put the links to these videos um up at the front uh if you have time to listen uh, you know please go through them again when we're talking about the three days of darkness, um, Al, Ali says there is some sort of powder released, some sort of um, chemical, maybe, agent of war uh, that stops the Russian advance into uh, Western Europe. Uh, but I think it's a good idea to be able to board up and cover your windows in case there's any any sort of chemical or biological warfare. And that's why I mentioned the greenhouse uh, sheeting, which we've had some and we brought it with us through multiple moves. And I'm ordering uh, several more uh, for backup just so if anything really, really does happen. You know, duct taping the plastic to the windows um, and, you know, realize that you might have to ride things out for a period of time. This is why, we, again, we've been saying uh, try to get out of the way of, of where, where the conflict's going to be. And, and again, that's almost impossible to totally predict. But you know if you're right by a military base or if you're in the middle of a huge population area, it's much more likely um, that there will be some of the sleeper cells and, and maybe direct military targets. Uh, and look to the prophecies. Uh, as well, it, it Hopi. We've talked about the Hopi prophecy so many times too. We can uh, revisit all that because you know it's it's not just biblical, and you'll find much greater detail in in things like the Hopi prophecies and and the prophecies of Ali here, and and others. Indeed. As always, guys, much love. Thanks for your support. Source bless and Namaste. Namaste.